and honey. So I don't know where my little mallet is. So y'all already know this drill. There's no, no singing bowl today, honey. <laughs> hey girl. Hello, my beautiful Aries. How are you doing? My name is Simply Falca, and today I'm going to be doing your weekly general tarot reading. Now, Aries, I also do your weekly you versus them reading between you and your person with tarot cards as well, Aries. So I'll leave a link to over here for you to check out at a later point if you'd like. But when it comes to any of my readings, Aries, uh, be sure to rely on your intuition because put it in perspective, I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you, right? You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the cards that resonate and leave what doesn't because I promise you I'm not going to be a offended by it whatsoever Aries now uh, Aries whenever if you do find some tarot cards that resonate with you in this reading be sure to let me know in the comments below let me know which cards call out to you the most and how they do because it's how I keep up with y'all through the comments and if you do find some cards that resonate with you Aries I would really appreciate it if you could take the extra time to uh, give this video a like and subscribe because it does help out my channel a lot and I always am super appreciative of it when you guys take the extra time to do that to support my tarot channel um, and yeah, finally, before I get into this reading, Aries, I just want to say and remind you that uh, any tarot reading, in my opinion, should not be making a decision in your life. The tarot readings, tarot cards are just here to give you a perspective, some food for thought, something for you to consider as you go throughout your life, right? So don't look for my readings to make an official answer to you because it's your life to live, not mine. So it's not fair for me to tell you what you should do with your life. So with all that being said, my little Aries, let's get into this reading for give me it's like anytime like the it's like super cold my nose just like gets a little bit runny it's probably gross to some of y'all but whatever <laughs> um so let's get into this uh reading Aries I always pull some tarot cards at the just at the start just to get a general vibe of things Aries so I'll give you your give you your animal spirit card for this week this is the number eight so write down eight for numerology Aries to look up later we have uh, the Bobcat spirit saying life is a mystery. Definitely letting me know, Aries, that this is definitely like a, um, what is the tarot card? I can't, it's on the tip of my, the moon card. It's very much so like the moon card of where it's uh, kind of letting you know whenever the moon card comes forward, Aries, it lets you know that something's going on beneath the shadows. It's just like something's going on that you aren't aware of, something that's kind of like bubbling up and that's going to come to light relatively soon. So when you have this Bob Spat, Bob Spat, <laughs> Bob cat spirit Aries coming in letting you know um, life is a mystery it's kind of foreshadowing that something unexpected is probably going to be happening to you this week so keep your eyes peeled keep your ears peeled honey um, because definitely I feel like something big is going to be whenever I like preface in these readings as well Aries like keep it in perspective right um, just because I say something big is happening this week it more so I guess more so what I mean by this I should be more specific is you should start seeing like a little bit of hints and signs of it not all of you Aries are going to have like a life-changing impact moment this week and that's going to be the moment right maybe some of you will if we get the tower card but in this way with tarot it's always tapping into an energy area so be like it's more so letting you know like things are starting to seep out into the physical like you're going to start seeing signs of like a big change a big adjustment uh throughout this uh week so just keep that in mind, Aries. And so now let's get into the tarot side of things. We interestingly enough start with two major arcana here with the lover's card as well as the justice card. Now, Aries, this is a very interesting dynamic because it's like with this lover's card, I mean, for some of you, this could be addressing like an actual um, I mean, this especially with the Bobcat spirit for my Aries that are in, in like a deep committed relationship. I do want to say like this is definitely like a you might be starting getting hints at like a potential proposal coming in or some type of like, regardless of what it is, even if it's love, even if it's business, regardless of what it is, it seems to be, I can't help but get this feeling of like some type of offer being made. Um, so I feel like this week is definitely um, just warming up to be where some of like, you can draw, take from this, I guess, Aries, is that um, someone has their eye on you in the sense that they're... Uh, considering reaching out having some type of proposal in some way whether it's romantic or from a business um, and it's like a big thing so especially with the justice card this lets me know of like even if it's outside of social situations Aries um, this opportunity that the lovers is the representation of, of like 
a deep commitment, some like, type of big decision. Um, it lets me know if this justice card is something, it's usually, it has something to do that you've invested a lot of energy into very much so like a seven of pentacles thing. So even though this is talking about like life is a mystery, like uh, unexpected things, I feel like you can kind of get an idea, Aries, of what this would be referencing to, like what you would, what this week will start hinting at something being like, I mean, from an optimistic way, we'll say it's something being successful that like a big project finally coming into balance where it's like, um, you're finally getting rewarded f for all the hard work that you've been investing into something, Aries. Um, continuing on with the final two tarot cards for this general spread here, before we get into the actual rows, we have the King of Rings. The wording on this, like, <laughs> Aries, let me know if you, like, would read it the same way. This is my newest tarot deck, so I'm still getting used to it and connecting with it. But I was looking at this at first, and I was like, is this Ring of Rings? And I was like, what? Um, <laughs> but yeah, the King of Rings. This is definitely uh, forced. I mean, you can even see in the card, so you know I'm not making it up. Um, my beautiful Aries, but it's definitely whatever this is talking about with this Justice card and, well, that's the Lovers and the Justice card. The Lovers and the Justice card, Aries. This is definitely bringing forth some type of abundance. This is definitely bringing forth more responsibility for you in the sense that um, we'll probably get into it and get more hints of it when we get into your career side of things, Aries. But definitely, like, some probably taking on some bigger projects, some opportunities coming in that call for you to be a little bit more responsible, even. Overall, just really good, like, with more responsibility comes more rewards from that, essentially. So very just good overall card. Um... And the Seven of Wands confirms kind of what I was already saying before, where it's like, this is something that you put a lot of work into. This is something you put a lot of energy into that um, even when it was like looking rough and not looking promising, whatever it is that you've been putting a lot of energy into and hoping that it would work out, Aries, um, you're finally getting that in like... That investment that uh, that you initially put in for this is starting to finally, it's going to start finally pay out, I guess is what I'm trying to say, Aries. So beautiful, beautiful cards starting this out. Um, I apologize if I was like a little bit long winded. That's just how my readings are, Aries. <laughs> but now let's get into the actual rows of things now, Aries. When it comes to these general readings, even though that was just like the general uh, spread, we'll reference it probably throughout the reading rest of this reading rather um but now we're going to be getting into three different rows the first row is going to be um for my areas that are interested in hearing about their career and finance the second row is going to be about with the intent of um my social situations for my areas and then the last row will just be some final uh fine-tuning thoughts from tarot um on just like the overall reading before we close it out so let's start getting into my areas wealth and uh finance situation right now so we'll do three cards here pull one from the bottom and that bottom card is beautiful aries all right so let's get into this for you aries we have the uh, magician card coming out the queen of wands and king of swords so it's kind of already get we kind of already got this idea from the general spread aries in that a lot of you guys are coming into some abundance. A lot of you guys, and this abundance is coming in because of your hard work and your dedication, Aries. So I really want to celebrate you for that. Um, this is not, this is very much so an energy of where it's like, especially with the justice card, it's like, and like other people would see this as you feeling entitled, right? It, you probably would come off as entitled when like you're finally receiving these blessings and be like, well, yeah, it makes sense, right? Other people would be like, oh, what's, like, what's with you, Aries? But like, you, like, this is letting me know you've worked really hard at this, Aries. Like, so you know you deserve it. Um, you probably, there probably has been like a sense of frustration for a while just being like, why isn't the stuff that you're putting out? Why isn't your content? Why isn't your whatever it is for you in your work situation that you're trying to, I feel like this is more so for my areas that have some type of like, um, project of some sort, their own like passion project, especially with this Queen of Wands coming in here. Um, the Queen of Wands is like that card of, um, answering to your passion, something that you took a risk in doing, right? In the name of, uh, tending to a passion of yours that like spurs you, that drives you, right? Aries. Magician card lets me know of like the work that you've been actively putting into this. So again, this is like, even though we talk about like the Bobcat spirit saying life is a mystery, I don't feel like, <laughs> like what's coming towards you, the positive things coming towards you, Aries, in this, I don't feel like it's going to be a surprise because 
You're the one that's made this happen. You're the one that created this uh, abundance coming in. And the King of Swords, like, this is just like you and your element. It's almost like once you see this ball rolling, once you start getting the hint of that success, um, Aries, it's almost like you're like, okay, now it's show time. It's time to get to work now. So definitely it seems to be for my, like in this situation for my Aries that you guys are just like thinking about business, thinking about creating this week. So it's beautiful. Let's pull some clarifiers though, just to see if there's any final thoughts in regards to this, to the spreads um these cards rather Aries I don't know why I'm like so out of breath I feel like I've been like <laughs> oh, Aries I'm out of breath just because I've been like talking a million miles a minute <laughs> with y'all like I feel like I just haven't turned off since because it's like such a high energy reading uh but it's so beautiful so beautiful all right so taking this in right now for a moment my Aries so don't mind me um so let's get into this now we have for you the, the clarifier that we pulled with your queen of wands um is the ten of cups so definitely like this queen of wands uh for my Aries coming in here like you probably have been so sh uh, insanely motivated to be successful for something I think it, I, I get the impression that it is for a bigger cause. Um, with this Ten of Cups, this is talking about that family life. So maybe it's just like for a lot of you areas, you just want to be able to provide to your family, right? Naturally. Like, I feel like that's the case for most people. Um, even if you don't have a family though, Aries, it seems like part of the reason what, why it's so important for you to attain some level of success, something to really have this project get off the ground is the fulfillment you will feel and i know for some of you aries is probably just going to be the fulfillment of like a successful project but i can't just help but feel like <sighs> aries there's like some of you aries that just want to like reach out to other like there's something that you want to really support something that you really um i don't want to even use the word charity because there's not like it's i mean it's charitable right you're being giving in some way but there's just i don't know there's something like definitely intimate about this so i guess it has no relevancy in the reading but i'm just like really appreciating this um why you're so passionately fueled is just to provide for something um something bigger than just like the surface level of money so magician card clarifier that we came in is with the fool card uh, actually so this actually took me back because i'm gonna be honest here aries i was when i first looked at the cards i was like i was seeing this as the death card for some reason and so you probably even play it back when i was being like and this is the clarifier and i was like the I was about to say death and i was like oh fool um so i just want to say i can't help but feel um, there's a reason as to why I'm seeing this as the death card, because the Fool is my favorite card in the deck, many of y'all know. So, I feel like the death card is kind of relevant. I feel like you kind of are almost reborn, in a sense. There's something that really ignited you to, um, get back into the drawing board, to really, not the drawing board, to really get back into creating. It's almost just like for some of you, uh, Aries, like, something's just really sparked you, so, um, and I can't help but feel like it's because some, you finally closed something out. You probably, for some of you guys, maybe just like finally worked on an insecurity of yours. Um, you overcame some hurdle of some sort that has you just ready to think about business and creating and to really just like all hands on deck, really. It's just like you're now just like in this business mode and just being like, everyone come along, let's really create. Um, and so beautiful. <laughs> so out of breath, honey. This is like the first time I've ever been out of breath for a reading. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like when I'm ever I'm like y'all go outside and like you're wearing your mask and it's like you can never catch your breath once you lose it because you're just having that mask that's how I feel right now honey I'm just like oh my god I gotta get this out to y'all <laughs> um man I'm so sorry Aries um the clarifier that we have for your king of swords is the page of swords so definitely this is a new big like you have a new beginning a new approach or a new appreciation a new mindset to what it is that you want to create and how you want to create it how you want to continue going forward um in terms of your creation in terms of your passion in terms of your uh, just your overall wealth right and so i really celebrate you for that Aries. it seems like you are on the right track for sure so i'm going to close this reading the, that side out now that row out for you aries and we'll get into your social situation see what's going on for my aries and their social situation with tarot so so we have for you my beautiful aries we have the four of cups coming in uh, oh i didn't know this and we had an extra card for you four of cups the seven of pentacles coming in along with the knight of swords with the king of pentacles which snuck in here so 
let's take this in together, Aries, actually. What right now, so that's pointing, what it's calling out to me is that Seven of Pentacles I was referencing to you before at the start of this reading, as well as this Four of Cups. I feel like, notice I kind of like held them in two uh, separately, because I kind of feel like these are like two different messages. Like, I feel like these address two different things, almost. So we have on this side of things, Aries, the Four of Cups and the Seven of Pentacles. So it's almost like I can't help but Aries, there's something, there's some type of dynamic, something that, um, some that you've connected with and have some history with, uh, Aries, that some type of connection that you kind of wish was better. I get it, almost. You're just like, oh man, I wish we could go back to how we used to be sort of thing. And so on this side of things, while it's like a separate message, I feel like this is like one, the mindset that you have with the situation is what I'm trying to say with this. So it's just like, there's almost something, some dynamic with someone that you wish it could go back to how it used to be in some way. And almost like for some of you areas, you want to put a little bit more effort or energy into some type of connection to bring you guys closer together. Then you have the Knight of Swords and the King of Pentacles, where it's just like, I feel like this is more so like the, um, the mindset that you go back and forth between words is like you want to make it work with this person but then you get in your head too much you get in your head and it's just like almost like the self-sabotaging nature with some type of connection where it's just like oh i want to reach out to this person but maybe they won't receive me maybe they'll think i'm just unstable and crazy um there's something you get in your head about where it's just like I don't know, Aries. It's just you want this so badly to work, but then it's just like something just goes on in your head that like makes you backtrack. Um, so let's look at these clarifiers that came out. Ooh, okay, Aries. I see you, honey. So last card that came out when I was saying for some reason was the Two of Swords. So you don't trust this person for some reason, Aries. Your guard is up with this person, right? Anytime you talk to them, anytime you connect with them, you have like a hidden dagger there. And it's just like, honey, like if you're connecting with them, why the heck you, what you doing with this knife, honey? <laughs> right? And I, I don't know what's going on with this, Aries, because I'm seeing in the sense where it's like, you're so on guard with this person because you're so, it seems like you're afraid of them turning on you. You're afraid of them judging you, perhaps. With this five of disc, you're afraid if you open up more that they're just going to throw stones at you. So it's just like, because it, it's almost like your own insecurity and that's why you remain guarded. It's almost like this person didn't do anything. They're just trying to love you here. Um, but you have like your own crap going on here that makes you feel like you need to have that knife. It's almost like you just have such a, you just feel like everyone's going to try to, is out to get you, almost, Aries. And so, because of that, this is the energy you exude with this. Seven of Swords, right? Where it's just like, I can't help but feel like you just have, like, this aggressive view of this, some type of connection. Maybe not aggressive, but you just feel like it's, you just feel like it, it's almost like you, like, talk yourself out of like um connecting with this um before you even bother it's like you're just like you know what? there's no point they don't want to like they don't want to make it work again whatever so you don't bother but this king of swords and this ten of cups comes to mind where it's just like almost like calling you out um areas and where it's like notice you keep on having kings coming in for you and it's like a calling to have a more, and I'm not calling you unstable, Aries, so please don't take it that way, but having a more stable approach to this, having a more refined thought process to it, you know, this is almost like calling you out on, like, the spirals that you will get into when it comes to this connection, where it's just, like, you start convincing yourself of a narrative that's not probably even true, and so that stops you from having that Ten of Cups experience with them. So, all I can say, Aries, is, like, don't get in your head about some type of, like, whatever connection it is that you're wanting to reconnect with, don't get in your head about it. Just just do it, right? That's really what I'm getting in that. So we're going to close out that row now, my beautiful Aries, and then we're going to get into just some final thoughts, final cards, um, before we close this reading out. So let's use the Mystical Manga deck, actually, for this. So actually, do these. So beautiful cards. So we have the Magician card, again, coming out for you. We have the Ace of Cups, and we have the Ten of Wands. So Aries, I feel like this is what happened. This is letting me know of a storyline. You're finally un, uh, taking out, taking away the burdens that have been slowing you down in terms of your progression, in terms of your manifesting in your life, in terms of you even opening your heart up. Such a beautiful, you had such beautiful, bold, high manifestation cards 
um, Aries. And I feel like it's because you've released this weight. So I really celebrate you for that, Aries. Um, just be sure to not get in your head uh, too much when it comes to your social situations. Maybe you feel justified in feeling guarded with them, right? I don't know your situation, but um, it does seem to be like some type of connection that you kind of wish would be back to how it used to be. Maybe nothing even changed. And the only thing that's changed is your perspective and thinking that something changed in that relationship. Um, just a thought, but um, that's the cards that I have for you, Aries. If you enjoyed this reading, be sure to let me know in the comments below. Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe, and then be sure to share my videos with a friend that you think might be into my readings. Until next time, my beautiful Aries, I'll connect with you soon.